Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, so I have a Tonic Studios haul to share with you guys, because, you know, that's what I love to share on here lately. Um, this is, I think I placed it a, about a week or so ago, and um, I didn't even realize it was coming in today. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around the spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos thumbs up likes always appreciated and any questions or comments please leave them down below <clears throat> so um real quick um the stamp lots those are all now pending um if you've heard from me um some of y'all are already on a wait list um and i haven't notified you yet if you haven't heard from me then um yet um, I just, I, I woke up to lots of emails this morning, but, uh, I will, uh, email you no later than tomorrow. Um, but all the lots are already spoken for. And, um, so now, uh, if the post office, if the boxes aren't waiting for me when I get home tomorrow, I'm going to run over to the post office and grab what I need and then let you guys know what your shipping is going to be. Um, I also had a couple people ask how, what I use to clean my stamps. So, I have, uh, the closest one that I have by me is the ones that you guys have seen me haul recently. Um, these are stamp scrubbers. You can get one similar to this or longer and skinny or whatever um usually at like tuesday morning or michael's um you should be able to find them at joann's as well um any good uh craft store um will should have a stamp scrubber now what i use to clean my stamps um if i have it on hand um i use the close to my heart um it's called the spritz refill and this is a stamp cleaner and it's not harsh it, it smells really good um, and this lasts me quite a long time. I have a bottle, but my, my craft bag is downstairs because of the um, card club I went to. So I keep a little bottle that's about the same size as this Nuvo, um, one, and I just refill it from here. Um, you could possibly try the Nuvo stamp cleaning solution. I've mentioned before that while it does clean, it leaves a really greasy film and I do not like it at all. So I've got this and it'll, it'll probably never get used unless I have a dry um, stamp and I want to try and condition it maybe. Um, the other stamp cleaner I use is if you're using Stays On. Stays On ink is a horribly messy ink. Um, it is hard to clean up. Um, unless you have the stays on um, cleaner and you just rub it on the stamp and scrub it off and uh, it, it cleans up really nice but those are the two I use the most uh, if I don't have any of this on hand which has happened uh, as I've mentioned I get a little spray bottle I put warm water in it a little bit of Windex you don't need a lot and then I just spray my stamps down well as I've mentioned um, I have one side um, when I start using them, I have one that I mark C and one that I mark D. Um, so clean and dry. And so the side that I mark clean, I will spray the cleaning solution on, scrub my stamp. Once I think it's clean, I take it down to the dry side and I dry it off and set it, um, set it to the side. And if I think it needs more cleaning, then I'll do it over again. I don't, it's in my craft bag downstairs. I have another one that's really small and has really stiff bristles. And I use that when I'm using a pigment ink um, because pigment ink can be a pain in the butt to get out of the little nooks and crevices of your stamps. So, um, yeah, but I don't use that one very often because I don't do pigment a lot. Um, Unless I'm, you know, like going for a specific technique. Anywho, so enough of that. Um, and a an update. I got an email. Hopefully some of y'all got an email today from Tonic. Let me... 
Where'd it go? I got an email today from Tonic. Michelle, she's the, the head of their shipping department. Two of my orders are on hold uh, because they're, the items didn't make it from uh, the UK. Uh, remember that Tonic Studios is a UK-based company, so when they set up promotions... Everything comes from the UK, and because, you know, the slow of shipping and COVID, sometimes it doesn't get here on time. Um, so if, if you got that email from them, just kind of be a little understanding. I'm, you know, when I order something, I order it enough, uh, far enough ahead of time that I'm not worried about it being here, like, super, super fast. So, um, so yeah. So, but if you were in a hurry for it... I'm sorry, <laughs> but I know that they email people. Where is she at? It was today. For some reason, my Yahoo is not updating. Hmm. That's why I had it on a search mode. Okay, so... Oh, it doesn't tell me which order. So anyway, it looks like these orders are on delay about a week. All right, so let's get to why you're here. You're here for the Tonic Studios. So this was um, ordered on a Wednesday. So obviously it was for a, you know, a Wednesday dye deal. I ordered these on the 13th, so a week ago. Oh, and just so you know, if you're watching right now, um, the, the Wednesday sales are already up. And there is a mystery bundle, so if you're interested, go run over. Um, I have not checked as of this recording, but they may still be available. So I would go check that out. And I have a mystery bundle in this order, too. So, anywho, the first two items in this order, I was so... I got really excited because I had seen... there's, I believe there's three in the series, and it was a bundle... On the UK website and I was so excited came to the US website and they didn't have the bundle yeah I was totally bummed but then I don't know if like them tracking what I look at it came across my feed and there's I think they're called the seamlessly beautiful um, line um, I, I found two of them so this one's called the seamlessly beautiful Celtic cross die set and um, I'm Irish I'm Irish German a little bit a little bit of other stuff but I'm mainly Irish German and um, I actually have a Celtic knot on my back so when I saw this I was so excited that I could actually pick this one up this will fit in your standard die machines. Um, it says the largest die is 5.3 by 5.3 inches. There are six dies. So you get three of the squares. Um, the largest one, you have a constant stitch running or like the little piercing dots. Then the middle size, they're probably, I don't know. There's not as many. Let me show you, <laughs> if, you if it's going to show up. And then there are no stitch dies on the smallest. And then for the Celtic uh, knot, you have your base. Then you have a base, uh, uh, another base color, and then you have your knot. So those are your six dies. That was the one I wanted the most. Then they had, this one's called the Seamlessly Beautiful Crystal Sphere Die Set. Um, I like this one. This one's 5.2 by 5.2, so it will also go through your standard machine. Again, six dies. You got the three circles and then the three pieces that make your star. Or as they call it, the crystal. Crystal sphere. So, there's a lot of stitching elements in here if you want to do stitching. Um, you could also use them as, like... I would probably use them to uh, mark even spacing if I want to do enamel dots or glossy accents or anything like that. So there are those. Those were both $16.99. They were not on sale. 
I just knew that I really wanted these, so I broke down and got them. And honestly, I can't remember what the third one is. I'd have to, I think I'd have to go to the UK site to find it. But anyway, so there's that. Plus with my uh, subscription, um, I got 10% off. So I got a $1.69 off of those. So $15.30 a piece. So there's that. So the next item I got was the, it's called the Sentiments Bundle. It was $12.78. This was a Wednesday dye bundle. And I just think they're wonderful. It's hard for you to see, but it's, this says just a note to say. And there's not, these ones don't really have a sample on the back. Then this one says to my perfect husband. This one says to my wonderful wife. And then this one says to the one I love. So obviously I'm not gonna make a card for myself but plenty of cards there to, or plenty of dies there to make cards for my hubby. And so all four of those were 1278 minus 127. So 11, basically 1150 for the four of those, which I think is a pretty good deal. So there's that one. And now that I'm, There's something missing. Mystery, seamless. Oh, no, never mind. There's nothing missing. My bad. Next, I got the mystery bundle. I'm gonna move these over there. Of course, the mystery bundle was $25 plus my 10% off, so uh, two, Fifty, so twenty-two fifty. I paid for these, and it's supposed to be a guaranteed hundred-dollar value. So the first die it came with was the mason jar die set, and I have this, so I'm going to be saving this for a giveaway down the road. And this is one that should definitely fit in all of your machines. The largest die is three point nine by five inches, and that I believe is going to be the actual mason jar. So um, there's actually a stamp set that goes to this as well. And I may have gotten that in another bundle too. I don't know. So there's that. Then it came with the Miss Mythical Glade Layering Die Set. And this is awesome. We got Winter Wishes and Snowflake Kisses. And I think I have this one. I think this definitely confirms that I have most of everything now, but I'm going to continue to get them because to me, it's a good value for me as far as um, picking them up and able to share with, you know, my friends or put them in my giveaway box. So anyway, so there's that. Then it came with the Perfect Harmony. Um, I've got more of these to this particular collection, so I'm going to, I'm not into the music. I love music, but I'm just not into music themed dyes and papers and stuff. So that's going to go in a bundle to give away. We have another Scotty dog. So I love him, but I have him already. And so now I have another backup. So there's that one. And then love have that one too. But I did not have this one, Best Friends. So I did get one uh, die that I did not already have. But I still consider this a really great value for me because like I said, um, these, I, I put them in my giveaway um, box. So because I'm trying to put bundles together, um, the 5,000 subby is coming up soon. And that means now I'm going to start, that means I'm also going to be saving up for the 10,000 subby um, giveaway. And I'm going to be using a lot of these to put together actual bundles as the prizes. So there's that. Then, give me just a second. I'm going to be right back. I got to go grab something.
Y'all know I'm a... Never 100% together when I do these videos, but that's what makes this channel me. So, I got in today um, another B. Clyburn, but it's a book, and it's called Cat Christmas. And it is just um, his take on cats and... And just, you know, he, um, what was I going to say? All these cats are kind of like takes on his personal cats. So him kind of putting personalities to him. And, uh, yeah. Anywho. So he's, so look, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your ornaments make great toys. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your tinsel brings us great joys. Your star on top is hard to get, but give us time, we'll get it yet. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, please stay all year, we love you. <laughs> and um, so according to him, his cat, Oscar Beanie Cat, um, who he had for... Seven, twelve years. Apparently, that is the song for his. That was his. So everything in here is based on one of his cats. Um. But you know, here hanging off Santa's nose. Got a little kitty um, present with a pizza and anchovies. But uh, I was so happy to find this. It was hanging off a Christmas ornament. That was karma last year. That was a really rough Christmas. And this is a little yellowed because this is not in print anymore. And so this was one of those where somebody had it and, you know, went to sell it on, on uh, Amazon and I'm okay with that. So, and it even says to Auntie H from Massive Luciano. Massimo, Massimo Luciano. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, this was 1990, I think. No. Two thousand two. So that's that. And I got a. Oh, I gotta hide some of this. I got something from Miss Naomi. Miss Naomi, it arrived yesterday. Um, I, I've only cut it open, so let's take a peek. She told me to expect something, and oh my gosh. Naomi, you're so awesome. Hold on, there's a card first. Uh, Miss Naomi has a channel here on YouTube. Um, she's Naomi West. I'll put her down below. She has helped me find things in the UK. She's just really awesome and um, just I, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, hi Rochelle. I saw this and thought of you. Hope you haven't got it yet. Take care. Stay safe. Naomi. Naomi, I, I don't have this. <laughs> you are too too sweet let me put that there she got me this cat now with 16 pages of color so B. Clyburn was almost always in black and white and it wasn't until later that they started doing the coloring so I mean seriously he loved his cats how to draw a cat. And if you look, he spells it Q-A-T. So. I know this isn't. See, that is actually one of his cats right there. That is one of his cats. And so if you look, the actual cartoonish is kind of a cartoon version. They were gray tabbies. So. Yeah, this, this is too wonderful, Miss Naomi. Look, cat's up. Catch up. He's wonking the cat out of the catch up bottle. 
This was one of his cats, Nako Marie. I think she was the cranky one. There's another one. He, he just loved to draw his cats, both in cartoon and in... I, I don't know what you call that. What would you call that? Um, not real realism. I don't know, but he just had a really great sense of humor. Now, I am going to tell you, if you ever look up some of his stuff, he didn't just do animals. He also did... Um, cartoons of like everyday life but some of it was very adult humor um and we'll just i'm just gonna say some of it was adult humor <laughs> not a lot of it but I'm just saying i don't get that one a cat cone superstitions kick a cat and you'll lose your hat I don't get that one. Does anyone know that one? Anywho. Slight of paw. And then some of the color ones. But Miss Naomi, thank you so much. I, I did not have this. And um, the funny thing about the cover is there's a stamp I'm trying to get. Well, this is the t-shirt that I was going to get my husband. I think I mentioned it. And... Um, and the t-shirt, it says, uh, dad, 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 you up? <laughs> anyway, and the running joke is, is Pancake likes to get right on top of Chris. And just, yeah. Anywho. Miss Naomi, thank you. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed a little more of my B. Clyburn addiction. Well, this is childhood memories for me, but, um... But I'll say as a child, I did not know that he had adult cartoons. <laughs> I only knew about the cat. Anyway, um, y'all have a wonderful day. I should be back tomorrow. It might be later in the evening once I figure out the, the, um, the shipping on the stamp lots. And uh, I'll probably just update a little bit, but I'll be emailing directly. Anywho, with that, I love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.